What's up guys, I'm back to another video and today we just got the trailer for the Hawkeye series of this morning. I did my reaction to the trailer, you can click the YouTube card, I'll put it in the description below. And with this show, with this trailer, it definitely sets the vibes of what the show is going to be about. And we can see that it definitely has the Christmas vibes, the Christmas music, and the Christmas decorations. And what we can see that this is like the first Marvel Marvel Disney Plus show set around the holidays, around the Christmas time, as it said that the come out in, in, in two months and we, we can see something like Clint Barton is back we'll play by Jeremy Renner as he is back playing the original Hawkeye and we, you can see like Haley Steinfeld uh, AK, you know who's playing Kate B B Bishop in, in the series and is going to be training to be the next Hawkeye and, and so in this video this will be my full trailer br breakdown I'll cover all, all the details or maybe all, all the Easter eggs in this trailer that could connect to the future of the MCU and to the young Avengers as well so let's get into it So right away, this trailer starts with Clem Barton and his family at dinner, and as we can see, we can see Lila Barton, and the last time we saw her what was from the opening scene from Avengers Endgame, when Clem Barton was training her to be the next Hawkeye in the future, and with this, Lila Barton is actually played by Ava Russo, daughter of Joe Russo, and in the next scene, she says that it is like the, the first Christmas that they've had in years, and why is that? Because this is after the events of Avengers Endgame, and five years went, went by when Clem Barton's family got snapped. And then the next thing that we see is kind of pretty funny is this a billboard for Rogers the, the, the musical but based on the superhero Captain America and we all know if like Captain America you know C.C. Rogers is actually on, on, on the mood and like uh, Rogers the, the musical like exists inside of uh, the, the MCU and we're, we're going to see that in, in the show which is like a fun fight and see that uh, there's like a musical based on the superhero Captain America. Next, Clinton says that he is making up for some lost time, and he's actually referring to the five-year gap from when his family got snapped, and then he dressed it up as, as Ronan killing people. And with, with this, he's actually saw, he's actually seeing a news report of a massive vigilante that uh, look, looks like Ronan, and he's actually on the loose, so that he, he has to go and, and, and find the mass like of the vigilante. Next, what we see is Clint talking to his family, and we, we can see that Hawkeye wearing an, an earpiece. This is actually referring to the comics from when Hawkeye was wearing an hearing aid, and, and because he had, he had his hearing damaged by the, the clown, he jammed both arrows into his ears, with which Hawkeye lost his, his hearing, so he had to wear a hearing aid, but he got his hearing restored by Franklin Richards, and with, with Hawkeye getting a, a hearing aid, he was able to communicate with, with other people and, and to allow a, a, other young fans to identify his condition by and by Hawkeye with, with, with a hearing aid in his ears, but by using American Sign Language to communicate with other people. Now that the, the vigilante is in, in the city, Clint's family is worried that the, that the vigilante might come there, and, and Clint tells them not to worry, and that he'll be home by Christmas time to spend time with, with, with his family. Next, we, we see Clint is, is taking down the bad guys as they, they are beating up Ronan, which is actually is Kate Bishop, who, who is showed us up as Ronan, the, the vigilante that is back in, in the city, and that Clint and his family are worried about, but like, Clint actually saves Kate, Kate Bishop, and, but the funny thing is that Kate Bishop actually recognized him as Hawkeye, so, so, so maybe, maybe there's quite a, a, a connection there. And with that, we're introduced to Kate Bishop and the MCU. And Clint says to, to Kate Bishop, are you one of those pe people? I, I, I see uh, the, the vigil anti that uh, Clint and his family are w w worried about. And in that, he, he rescued R R Ronan, who was actually Kate Bishop, who, who was the vigil anti in, in, in the city. But it was actually K Kate Bishop. And now, from what we can expect within this series, is that Clint is actually supposed to be training Kate Bishop to become the next Hawkeye. And the next thing we we hear is a lovely Christmas song. It's the most wonderful time of the year. And then next we we see Clint as he's on on the phone with his wife Laura, who actually came back from the snap. And we actually see like Clint and Kate Bishop are looking pretty beaten up as they're probably going through some training as Kate is supposed to become the next Hawkeye. 
Next, it just shows a montage of, of Clint and Cape of Isha fighting together and taking down bad guys. And from what we can tell from the series, that it's gonna pull things like from uh, the you know the comics. Like this is gonna be a comic accurate, and we, we can tell like Cape Bishop and Clint Barton are definitely gonna be fighting together. As we see that Clint is sliding down like a, a hang ladder using his bow, and we can see the the, rock, the Rockefeller tree, and as we can see like a lot of craziness is about to go down. And uh, we, we can see more scenes in, in, the, tr in the trailer. We can also see more of the, the Rogers than the, the musical as, as more uh, of the original like vendors, but in, in, in this play. And we can also see a uh, Cape Bishop's mother, El Eleanor Bishop, who like in the Marvel comics is also part of like a wealthy fam family. So she was married to a uh, Derek Bishop and like had two daughters. So and, and maybe in, in the show, Eleanor Bishop, and she, she looks like to be like a kind of a villain. And this show is, is definitely set around the Christmas time, as we you can like uh, you, you hear the song. It's, it's the most wonderful time of the year. Played throughout the, the, the whole trailer and the whole the rest of the trailer, as, as we can see, Clint a, and Kate are, are, are on an ice skating rink of, of firing arrows at, at some bad guys. They're, they're probably like in, in, in like a fight somewhere on the ice skating rink, and we, we can see like uh, explosions happening, and we, we, we can see like Kate and Clint try to take on a car which has some bad guys in it. And, and, and that like he actually shoots a, her first arrow at the car blowing it, it up and as we can see like there's gonna be a, a lot of cre craziness happen in the show. And why would we also tell that it, it, this show is gonna be set around on the holidays as, as, as Clint and, and Kate are, are driving past a Christmas tree lava with, with a bunch of Christmas trees and then, then like the rest of the trailer ends with that. And with the show, it definitely sets up the, the vibes uh, for, for the holidays and, and for Christmas time. We, we also see like a lot of Christmas trees, a lot of Christmas decorations, including the Rockefeller tree. And uh, Kate and, and uh, Clint are going to be taking down guys during the holidays as uh, is Clint going to make, make home in, in time uh, to see his family around, around the holidays when he has like so much stuff to take care of uh, as he was running, taking down the people. And, and uh, with, with this, we, we, we also expect Vincent D'Onofrio's Kingpin and you know, Yelena Belova to show up in this series as Kingpin is expected to show up in later episodes and spoilers if you haven't seen Black like Widow, Yelena Belova was actually handed a stand by Valentina like like with Dave Monte to take down Hawkeye. So Yelena is also gonna be in, in the Hawkeye series as well. And uh, with, with this, we, we actually see uh, like you know like uh, lots of stuff in in, in the show. I, again, this is only uh, the trailer. Maybe we'll we'll see more in like the second show. But uh, anyways, I'm really love it. Uh, I really like uh, this trailer by far, and I can't wait uh, for the Hawkeye series in two months on November 24th. I'm definitely doing watch parties for, for, for this show as well. So that is gonna, gonna be it for my trailer breakdown for the Hawkeye series. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Are you excited and looking forward to the Hawkeye series? Let, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe until that notification bell for future videos. And you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter for live updates. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.